especially for 3v3, but oh! we are going to the Great Hall. All right. Shout out to whoever picked that map. We see Cody Travis sticking with the Barraza, Faison with the Ada, and Dog with the Taros. And we're also looking at Nala Cat here Three, with the two, Lucian, Rain with the Bodvar, and Addy Mestic with the Wushang. Yeah, the Wushong is what has he, what is, no, the Wushong is what he's been practicing in the 1v1 rank ladder as a play. He really is That's a big dope. fan of that character. He's got Spear, he's got Gauntlets, he's being able to do the best of the two, and he's got seven dexterity on that character to go through the recovery. We see the Great Hall here, two separate Great Halls, essentially, with a giant platform in the center to connect them. Wow. Together. They got a black Oh, no, there. they're black holy two caught, people. They caught all three players. One of them managed to escape, but they caught the other two afterwards. They've racked up a ton of damage already. Rain finding himself getting knocked out first within the first 30 seconds the dr doggo travis running away with this game already we can see they are very confident 3v3 players they have a ton of synergy but i mean i nala cat and addy mestic oh. could make a comeback here that bomb toss on the phase on is already a really great start we've seen so many acts neutral come out here already the mine going very close to addy mestic as he's putting out nares inside air as he's trying to find some way to the mob but he just gets killed off the top for us to take his teammate they and his opponent up the stocks though cody travis has got a bit of a damage lead but it's not a very significant one they can take it back i'm very interested to see how addy mystic uh utilizes his weapons they're black hole the again wow three downers oh massive. they're carrying them above the stage addy mystic just got sent to white to orange here yeah that is a definite game changer the Dr. Doggo Travis, you can see they've got a ton of synergy. They are running away with this lead and racking up a ton of damage. It's absolutely brutal. Um, it looks like this map pick is definitely favoring them. You can see they've been practicing. Oh, but now I can He gets that side sick, nearly kills Doc kill, off the though. right of the map. He hit him into the stage, so it decreased nice the force. Nice recovery coming out from Nalakat. Nalakat managing to close out Cody Travis's stock. That was crucial. If they can take out Dog and Faison, they can run away with this game, oh. but it's going to be tough. He does get the scoop. Rain managing to take out Dog. That's a game changer. Now we got to focus our attention on to Cody. Let's see what happens. Bomb goes down, hits Eddie Mystic. Cody tries to go for that ground pound finish to get the double kill. He doesn't find it, but the bomb goes out. Nala barely dodges that, but he's hitting these stairs. This game is definitely being carried by Cody here in regards to all the combos. And he's starting to dancing. Almost kills Rain off the right side of the map. He's going for Nala Cat now. He's it's being gonna ruthless. Kill. Rain has been brought down to his last stock. The stocks are even once again, and Nala Cat at a damage deficit is getting hit by that neutral air. That's going to bring him into kill percent. It's not looking good, but I'm assuming he can hold on to this for quite a while. He just needs to play carefully. Eddie Mystic is looking to use these gauntlets to put oh. down some damage on the Cody but Cody lands a nice recovery that's gonna send Addy into the orange this is looking like it's gonna go in favor of the red team and <coughs> they look like they're struggling against Cody Cody seems to be doing quite well yeah he is definitely the player that's putting on the most damage look he's he's playing off a dog right there oh my wow. god he neutralized him into dog cider and finished up the recovery to kill at the top rain essentially massive team disappeared top. Right? Just beautiful synergy. Look at that! Beautiful. Look, look at that! Wow, Fa another team combo. Phase on gravity canceled downlight and into a recovery. I've never seen so much intentional team. Like, this entire game, I think individually, all right? Let me get one thought out. I think individually, Dr. Dago Travis and their team players probably would lose a lot of 1v1s against their opposing team. But because of how practiced they are with these team combos and how consistent, they're just right. completely destroyed. Right. Killing himself is gonna lose this game one against Dr. Doggo Travis. They're a very strong 3v3 team. Like Look you at said, the damage. I, I think if we took all of the players from Dr. Doggo Travis and we put them up against 1v1s against the blue team, I don't think they would necessarily win, but they definitely have the synergy when it comes to team plays that is definitely needed in these 3v3 matches. And you can are, see they're running away with Are leads. you on the damage screen? No, I left this damage. Cody screen. Travis did 901 damage. Wow. His that teammates. Is massive. Dog did 208 and Ada did 340. That's huge. Cody is doing excellent today. Not and a I, single person on the enemy team had more than 400. They were I'm going to be 400. honest. Like I'm, I'm familiar with Cody Travis. I've seen him participate in quite a few gravy cancel events, but I really didn't expect to see him perform the way he's been performing so far. He's really showing up today. And now that's two games in a row, which is so baffling to me too, because it's with the guns as well. Cody Travis isn't somebody that I've seen in 1v1s lately. I know that he's made like a few upsets in the past when I he's coming to invitationals, but other than that, he's playing exceptionally well 
And he's carrying this team here, in my opinion. Is they're going, like, going into game yeah, number two. I mean, that's what that's what TWK says. He says, carry Travis Kappa. There's no Kappa there. Cody Travis is doing work. And we're going to go into game two. It's a 2v2 between Travis Faison versus Addy Mestic and Rain. Map bands are underway. We're looking at Twilight and the Gravy Boat. And we're going to Twilight Grove. Nice. Any Mystic Sticky to the Wu Shang Rain on Boulevard, so they're not making any legend switches from what they were doing in the 3v3, and we're gonna be going Three, into Twilight two, Grove here. For game Very interested two. to see. I I maybe they'll perform differently with the lack of a third player. Maybe they're more comfortable with a 2v2 matchup. They're looking to set up a black hole. That was very close, but Faison did manage to dodge out, and that kind of ruined it for them. Um, both teams trading quite evenly. We see Cody looking to get a bomb set up, but he couldn't make that work. I like the team combos coming out from Rain and Addy. That's pretty good so far. They are doing a lot of work. They're performing much better in this matchup than they were in the previous. Um, Cody looking to get the recovery there. He doesn't make that connect. Looks like Addy Mestic is looking for a proper approach to finish out this stock, but he's not looking to have that happen. Cody is spacing quite well and he's catching Addy, but he does get caught there and I, oh no, they don't get the edge guard. Rain has put himself in a bad position. Will Cody be able to capitalize? No, he's going to get hit by that bread and butter combo and he's looking to get taken out quite soon. They are unable to catch the recoveries they need. Rain does have the stock advantage, but he's in the kill percent. The ground pound comes out from Faison, but it doesn't connect with that side air. Will Rain still able to recover is looking to hold on to this stock as long as possible. Will Cody be able to take him out or will Rain run away with a damage lead? We can see that Faison has taken quite a bit of damage so far already. He's being brought into the orange nearing kill percent. They're doing a lot of damage moves we're seeing a lot of neutral lights a lot of down lights down airs but we're not seeing any kill moves come out we need some side airs we need some signatures cody Ooh. going out to side stick that's exactly what he needed to even up the stocks but they are in a oh, massive no. damage deficit addy mestic looking to get the gimp but he couldn't find the follow-up but Faison has found himself in a bad position on the side of the map it's not looking good for the red team but i mean we're still even in stocks they can come back from this damage deficit. I, I don't know i just think rough. i think it's because addy mestic is being able to isolate Cody Travis now, aside from when he was setting up all those team combos there. Rain, he's winning out and phase on in the 1v1, like we were talking about. 2v2 has a little bit more individual play coming to it than the team play, and we're just right. seeing that suffer here on Cody Travis' side. Like, he's fighting stuff on Rain now, but Addy Mestic has got him in kill percent. It's only a matter of time before Cody loses I the stock. I feel like you're able to read a lot harder when it comes to 2v2s with that extra player on the map. Ooh. It does add a lot of confusion and, and some extra stuff to look at. So with, with only two players to focus on, you can, you can be a lot more careful and, and plan things out a lot better. Cody does manage to end Rain's stock, but he gets his stock ended by the recovery from Addy Mestic. Addy Mestic at a stock advantage, and they're looking to take Faison out. They know he's he's struggling this match, and he's in kill percent. It's not going to take too much to get the, the player lead now. Falling stairs, silence coming up from Cody. Cody gets a side sick. That's Cody huge. Cody a beautiful side sick. That was huge, and they set black up hole. the black hole. That's exactly what they needed. But they oh, he got it. End it too early, but he does get the recovery. Cody Travis is gonna take the lead here. It's a one v one between Cody and Addy Mestic. Cody with the guns in hand is looking to rack up the damage, but Addy Mestic utilizing those gravy cans. He has landed. Attacks, has done a ton what? of damage to Cody. Addy he's Mystic. got the damage lead. He's playing strong. He's spacing well. He switches out for the dog. Let's goes for the bread and butter combo with the reverse Grievy cancel side light, but he doesn't make that connect. But Cody is unable to find any connection here. He's struggling. I think he might be a little bit choking. I mean, he's starting to get a little afraid. Addy Mestic has him right where he wants him on the side of the map. Can he find the finishing blow? Oh my gosh, he got the ground pound. Sir! The side air. Is he gonna get the gimp? No. He goes for the side sick. He's Both going for the players. Addy Mestic so heavily pressured right now. Cody Travis, he's trying so hard to get these recoveries. He's being unrelently. Ever since Addy Mestic got that on him, uh, that aerial combo with the spear, he hasn't landed anything. And Cody Travis is trying to get him to kill percent the X. It goes way too high. He goes for the horn, but it despawns. He's unarmed. Addy gets the stare. Addy Mestic with the side air. He's oh. gonna take game two against Dr. Doggo Travis. We are tied 1 1 in this best of three. It's gonna come down to this. A 1v1. That was really close. And I can't believe and that it was only close because of how great Cody Travis is, is being able to set up those team combos. They could tell that they've been practicing that all week. Like, like that was one of those things. The second that yeah. they had a 2v1 situation, they got into that black Absolutely. hole. And then they execute. They, 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 I want to reiterate that he, 
discoed him into the Twilight Grove Island, that true yeah, combo into Cody Travis's gun recovery. Like, that, yes. that's how crazy there that was. was. There was no dodge frames. And now we're looking at a 1v1 between the, the best, in my opinion, probably the best 1v1 players from each team. We've got Nalakat versus Dog. Neither of these players are to be slept on. We know Nalakat is coming from EU. He does have that ping disadvantage. But we're going to Game 3, Mammoth Fortress. Nalakat wow. with the Lucian and Dog with the Bodvar. So these are two characters, or uh, legend selections, that I don't expect from either of these players here. Dog a Taros player, Nalakat definitely not. What I would consider a Lucian main is we're going to go into game one here, but Nalakat has got a very strong Lucian for sure. Um, I haven't really seen too much Bodvar coming out from Dog, but we're gonna have to see how this plays out. Both players kind of just trading, but I'm Dog seems to be getting the advantage here. He has done more damage. He's not looking to get punished too hard. He's doing quite well so far. Jumping Sarah comes out from the dog. He goes for that pivot downlight, but Nala's ready for a daylight himself. Gets the Sarah fall up. He's looking for another downlight to be able to get a little bit more damage with these guns. Trying to fall with the down air. Dog tosses his sword aside, picks up the hammer, goes for a side to gets a stop Sarah. That puts him into the orange. He looks up for that GC down stick for an early kill, but Nala does not fall into it. Instead, he gets a down air himself. Dog is putting so much damage to the Nala as that Sarah comes out. He's out of jumps. Oh, the instinct is not hit. Oh, that was almost a beautiful read, but Nala, oh! knowing that's going to come out, did space around it, but that Nair is going to kill, and Dog has managed to take a clean stock lead over Nala Cat. This is looking oh rough, but he gosh. does get the side light into the mine. That was crucial. He's brought Dog into the orange. He can bring him into kill percent with these guitar strings. Will Nala even this up? He's looking to do it. He lands the Sarah. He's got him on the edge of the map. The brown pound connects. Dog is unable to recover. Those stocks were evened up so quick. That was evened up so quickly in such a great way, too. Silent into a bomb, into those reeds off the side of the stage, into a ground pound. Dog had the hammer, had the chance of recovering. Rinala was just too good with the reeds, and now it's two to two. Guitar is tossed aside. He's looking for the guns. He's probably going to go in for his nice cider. Oh, neutral light waits him out. No nair follow up. Dog struggling with the sword. I think he wants the hammer. I think both players on weapons, they're not really comfortable. Ed, right Ed, now. Ed, I think Dog is uncomfortable playing against Katars. We noticed that Nala just threw them away. I don't know if that was a good decision. He was finding his openings there. He was starting to get his footing and he was starting to rack up the damage with the guitars but now that he has the guns looks like dog is feeling a little bit more comfortable but he is finding himself taking the brunt of the damage here not looking too good he does get the stomp into sarah goes for the reverse end sig but nalakat once again expecting that spaces around it He's putting out neutral lights, he's putting out ciders, he's looking for a way into Nala Cat, and he falls with an air, picks up the hammer, goes for that chase dodge, pivot cider, dodge, he doesn't hit Nala, punishing with a dare, Sair, sends him off stage, and, whoa, gets hit by that side light, dog, he's putting out the side stick himself, and he gets punished by a side stick, Nala Cat gets the punish, gets the KO, takes the lead. Nalakat does have the stock advantage here, but he is in kill percent. Won't take too much from Dog to even it back up, but we can see Nalakat playing very patiently, very carefully. He's passive. He's looking for those hard reads, those hard punishes. He's not making any approaches that he can necessarily get punished for, and that's very smart. Very smart to play careful like that, but he looks like he's struggling to rack up any damage so far, so it looks like Dog might even this up. Here we go. Now the cat tries to dodge in, gets that nice neutral air and a dog. Two nares, three nares, recovery! What? Wow! What? That was so... Alright, that was really good. 